You never want to be caught with a less than adequate anchor. So this week on Sailing Chaos, Dennis begins installation of our new Mantis anchor. Once we were pretty sure on what size anchor we needed, Dennis printed out the anchor template so that we could get an idea on how it would fit once it was on the boat. Then he used that template to make a cardboard cutout of the anchor. This cardboard cutout would help ensure nothing else would be in the way of the anchor and its new home. Alrighty, so we've got our Mantis anchor here and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I cut the straps already for you. This is, I've heard they package these pretty good. Yeah, so it actually ships in a wooden box, which is nice. Looks like they give you the instructions and how to put it together. So you've got your actual blade part that digs down. You've got your part that connects to the uh, road and chain. Um, and this is actually a handle that goes, this part goes over here. Um, and I believe that's for balance. Um, and for rolling over so if it goes to twist you know if your boat starts pulling the other direction due to a shift in wind or current then uh, this will help it roll and dig back down into place um, and it's got the hardware for the uh, mounts um, i think what's good about these the reason that they can they give you these um, and why a lot of people want to go with this is if something ever damages you're not having to buy a whole new anchor um, I believe you can just get, you know, this piece or this piece um, and, and you're going to save yourself a lot of money. I, I think, in theory, that's what I would uh, want to do, um, whereas everything's all welded together, you can't, you know, your anchor's gone, you're going to have to either get it repaired or, or find a new one. So I'm going to try to get this together. Got everything out of the box. So we decided to go with a galvanized uh, anchor. They do also have a stainless one. But as you'll hear us repeat, um, this isn't our forever boat. So we didn't want to spend the extra money on the uh, stainless, even though we were pretty close to, to buying it because it does look a lot nicer. But we figured for our first anchor, let's go with the galvanized because we don't know how bad we're going to bang this up as we learn everything. Comes with the bolts and it also comes with, it looks like some like grease uh, that you put on your, your bolts. So I've got the instructions here and I'm going to start assembling. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply the lubricant. I gotta be honest with you, this stuff stinks. I don't know what the heck it is, but it just smells bad. So it says to liberally apply it to every bowl. I feel like this is gonna be a very messy job. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it through and then lubricate it so I don't make more of a mess. Okay, so I put the four bolts through here. Now I'm gonna end up lubricating them so that I don't have to touch the bolts and get this smelly stuff all over me. And I give you a lot of it. I can't possibly imagine that all of this is gonna go on one bolt, so. I'm gonna divide it up. 
And each package do like two of these bolts. Oh, I got it on me. It's so gross. It's like a peanut butter consistency. But it smells like manure. Yeah, it smells like horse manure. When I bring Lexi to the uh, horse barn, this is what I smell. No, I told me I didn't know that. Okay. So you get the point. All right, I got them generously lubed as per the instructions. I think those look pretty good. Have rags on hand nearby. I didn't think I was gonna need them, but it makes a mess. And uh, it was no fun having to track rags down with this crap all over your hands. So now I'm gonna put the, uh, this is the shrink, what be called. Yeah, so that's the fluke. That's the anchor shank. Those are called shank bolts and nuts and locking washers. And that was the lubricant. All right, so I got those all tightened down. Um, they're pretty snug. I'm gonna go tighter, but I just wanna get everything connected for the time being. The next thing we need to do is the roll bar. So the roll bar actually needs to pitch backwards. So line it up with the holes. And then you got yourself your roll bar right there. And like I said, that's for uh, when it changes directions, it will roll right over and dig back in for you. So she is done. So this is, like I said, a 35 pound Mantis anchor. Um, you can pretty much lift it with one hand but it's heavy enough for our boat. It's actually one size bigger rated than what our, what our boat actually needs. Um, however, this will hold our boat according to their charts for like gale force um, hurricane type winds. So we got this one just so that there should never be any worry no matter what type of wind or condition we're put in. Our boat anchor should hold tight under all those circumstances. So go big or go home. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Sailing Chaos. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll get a notification each time we release a new video. See you next week.